Welcome back to The Sexy Brutal. This is probably going to be the final part uh, for this game. And uh, this is where things start to get a little bit weird. We do have Thanos' ability to uh, be able to get new, new knowledge of the places uh, that he visits. And that just adds a little bit more information in your brochures section. Uh, pure gold panelling. Uh, that is the clock there. Uh, the elevator is a work of art. It appears to be wrought from pure gold. So this section is a little bit different from the previous sections. It's mostly just figuring out a few puzzles. So there isn't going to be any uh, sneaking around and following people, except for these few down here. Let's have a look. They're doing something with these computers down here. Uh, looks like they are done. Let's take a quick look at this bookshelf. The books appear to be written in a foreign language. Every page is written with lurid descriptions of murders. Ugh. Uh, I really like the, uh, the flooring here. Above you are delicate glass tube walkways. Uh, the marble tiles look really nice. Boon, this place is not like the rest of the mansion. This is where the Marquis keeps some of his most powerful secrets locked up tight. Behind this statue, I believe, there is a door. You need to find a way to open it. If I can talk to him, if I could just see what... I cannot stay here. Please, Boon, help me see what's behind this door. Now, you can see that there are these wires attached to this statue here. Um, and basically, we need to power them up. Pipes or tubes connect to the statue. They feel more organic than mechanical. So let's head over to the, uh, the right, uh, first of all, and start investigating these, these doors here. A mechanized skeleton robot is on the table. Its innards are laid open. It looks like a huge amount of power is being used in this room. And there's something on the floor here, a roulette ball, so I'll grab that. A grate in the wall, you can hear the casino faintly through the vent. And there's one of those uh, robots there who was at the dealing cards to, uh, I think his name was Clay. So really large uh, gramophone here. Let's see if I can grab the, uh, oh, grab the card. Yeah, so things get to get, uh, start to get very, very strange around here. this card and here we have all of the guests none of them have been killed yet um, they're all lit up but when they die the lights will turn off I know scrolled in the orange picture sixpence uh, sixpence blow his brains out. they were just blown out uh, <laughs> clay killed the spider poison him instead Trinity always hears the garret put her in with the spider Willow, drowning too mundane, despair into hanging. Tequila, lethal self-laceration, then feed to the spider. Red, self-termination on electrics, manipulate affections as needed. Grayson, lure and trap, impale. Aurum, render in the furnace. Thanos, avoids the lift shaft, immolate instead. So yeah, that will all, all the lights will turn off. Um, as they get killed. Let's quickly go and have a look at the other side here. When the staff have finished their job, they'll show up here and more and more of them will, will be waiting as the day progresses. So this is the room where the red cord is uh, going into. And uh, basically what we need to do here is use the goblet and water this plant. Uh, we'll have to do it over consecutive days uh, so that the plant can have time to grow. A notebook, the first few pages are filled with tally marks. The sheets are dirty, the papers are too faded to read, so somebody has been imprisoned in here. Okay. 
Okay, another room here just with a um, pinball machine. Let's go and use the, uh, the roulette bowl and have a game. Okay, looks like we've won a card, the Ten of Hearts. Uh, now this is the room with one of the cables. Something is under the sheet. There's a gentle sound of a ventilator. In, out, in, out. Can I get some information about it as well? Oops. There we go. Um, so basically what we need to do is um, press the buttons in the right order. I think it's like this. This one here. Okay, so we've powered up uh, one of these, one of these wires here. There is a person on the slab. The mask actually appears to be some kind of ventilator, forcing breath into their lungs, whether they want it or not. Um, did I go into this one? Ah, yes. I don't have the cards yet, but as you pick up all of the cards, uh, the bridge will form across, so you can grab uh, this one over here. Um, I'm not going for one hundred percent collectibles in this playthrough. Now, if you remember in the last episode, the arm of one of these statues was thrown into a dumbwaiter. And uh, the other side of the dumbwaiter is actually down here. So I'm going to go and grab that arm. Let's see if it should be there. Let's have a look. The ornate dumbwaiter, there's a statue arm inside. Yes, so we'll grab that. Uh, because the statue over here is missing an arm as well. Let's quickly run through. Okay, now this acts a little bit weird and it just disappears. So let's head into the door behind it. Uh, we've got a red flower here. We need to find the right order. Let me just get rid of this. And I can have a read of that later. Uh, now I can't remember the exact order. Let's put the red rose there. Flowers change with the other. Flowers replace with the other. It should actually take root and grow, if it's the right one. Let's try the purple one here. The flower takes root. Okay, so that's the right color there. Orange one here. Does that work? No. Try the red one up here. Um, there can't be too many variations. Okay, the white one's down there. Um, so let's put the gold flower here. And use the red one. Yeah. Okay, so that has powered the green side. I still need to get the red side uh, powered up. Can we have a look at that? The crypt is empty at the moment. I'm going to uh, restart the day. Because I do need to water that plant uh, a few more times. But... The statue should remain powered. Um, let's go and have a look. Three paintings of people you do not recognize. That could be the lady in red, perhaps. So as you can see, the tree is a little bit bigger. We'll need to water it uh, once more after this.
Okay, let's try again. So this section is more of a, a puzzle section than uh, running around um, sneaking behind people and finding out what's going on. But uh, I think just one more water and that should unlock the central door here so we can get through to the next part. Quickly uh, head through this door. Now, as you can see the tree is pretty big now so let's water this once more. Here comes Gold Skull. You may have seen him wandering around some parts of the, the mansion. So he's managed to stop time. Simple snap of my... What? Oh, how dare. Go. So we've got the sapphire tear ring. Run, Boone. This is very much not over. It will be over soon. We are getting close to the end. Okay, so we've got the sapphire tear ring. That's what we need from this area. So now I'm going to find the exit uh, from the basement. We can't go back up the lift, unfortunately. But we can head through the kitchen. Uh, back up to a uh, through a secret passage up to the ladder. We can have a little bit of a look around here. These pots appear to be pure copper. The collection's worth a small fortune. Dirty dishes piled high. Sounds like someone's been living down here. Large and very stinky couple of cheeses and a cooking put. Uh, a cooking, a cooking book uh, about cheeses. There. It looks like the servants' dining area, perhaps. And then we've got some bells call the servants uh, upstairs. Series of books on Japanese ghost stories. Small table for cards. Oh, can we break this one open? Let's see what's inside. Aha! Ah, the Ace of Diamonds. The paintings, on, the paintings on the wall are a triptych with an inscription at the bottom. The story of Aoyaki. So the Japanese, Japanese story. Right, let's get out of here. I'm tired of this basement. Two bottles of Chateau Margaux, 1787. Lots of wines here. A secret meeting room. Hmm. I'm just having a look around to see if I can find any more cards in these places, but there, are, there is the uh, Six of Hearts there on the floor. 
and we're going through a secret passage back to an area where we have been before. Books on uh, anti-venoms. Um, and this is back into the cellar where we can head up back to, um, I think, the area behind the bar. Right, so I'm going to, um, yeah, this should go back out to the bar. I'm going to, actually, I can go this way. I'm going to head out to the garden. Through the grand lobby and ballroom and just uh, break open this glass panel here. I'm going to grab this, uh, this card over there. Is this open? Let's have a look. Oh, somebody just came crashing down there. They've lost his arm. He's lost his arm as well. Something fell from the clock tower. It's hard to make out in a flower bed. So that was that crashing noise every day at about 4.20 p.m. It's that man falling from the tower above. And uh, we're actually going to find out who he is in a minute. Apart, oh, wrong button. Apart from that, it is quite a nice area. The water from the fountain is more soothing than you imagined possible. So there is this little house here at the back. Now ordinarily we can't get in, but I do have the sapphire tear ring, so let's use that on the door. And uh, now we should be able to go through. There we go. Oh, oh, it's on fire. This is not good. This is not good. There's only one path to take here. So I'm going to run quickly. I'm going to set my spawn point here. Um, and then reset the day because the fire is too advanced. So we should now be able to get through this door to the north. Come on, wake up. There we go. Let's move, move, move. Now it's a strange little section, but there is a reason for it, and uh, that is because this little little section here is giving us a bit more of an understanding of uh, what actually happened to this hotel. Okay, let's try this again. Cardio. It's been such a long time. Would you talk to Lucas? Something seems to be troubling him. He's always looked up to you, you know. I know he teases you dreadfully about your lifestyle. But he respects you enormously. More than anyone else I know. I believe he's always wanted to be more like you. Perhaps when he's a little older, or more mature, I should say. Oh, you have our ring. Can I see it?
Now she's going to transform the sapphire ring into the red ruby ring. Or the ruby heart ring. So notice how she said that we married her. Meaning that he's a priest or something like that. Please tell him. I'll wait for him, won't you? I'll be right here whenever he is ready. So there's some split between these two, between her and Lucas. There's another mirror in this room as well. And uh, she's left her mask there. So we're going to go and pick that up. That was Eleanor, the Marquis's wife. She's always here, safe in this place. You've seen some of the truth now. The mansion was on fire. We, the guests, died. It should have ended there, but the creature in the golden mask, somehow he brought them all back, torturing us over and over. Okay. But with that ring, I believe you can stop him. There is a secret place. My, I mean, sixpence was so close. Take that ring to the room where Orem died. It will unlock the path. Okay, let's go and pick up her mask. That gives us the power of uh, mirror walk, so we can go through the mirrors. Took me a little while to figure it out. So we were one of the guests dying every day. And then the uh, the creature there, the red lady, the lady in red, got involved and we managed to escape that loop. Well, we're still inside the loop, but we managed to play a different part. I could end this right now. I could end you. I have the power. Perhaps she's right. And I am a monster, but we might all be monsters here. I want you to see, to understand. Come with me. Okay, so he's going to to uh, give us an overview of what's happened to all of the guests and this this uh, scene has been paused. Sixpence is frozen perfectly in time. His face in disbelief. And the staff member here looks dispassionate. He's doing his job without malice or, or pleasure. A dear friend Clay is having his heart attack here after Drinking the venom from the spider. Sixpence's prototype robot. The poison has burned the flesh around Clay's mouth down to the bone. It's a horrific. They're all pretty horrific ways to die, actually. And uh, here's Clay's wife or girlfriend. Trinity. She got eaten by the giant spider. And there's a tequila down there as well, who was thrown down the chute. Let's just get out of here. And of course, Willow Blue, who could talk to the ghosts. 
and uh, she gave us the power to see the ghosts when we had the, uh, the candle lit. Bell, what a voice. She was a living work of art. And uh, she was murdered along with everyone else. Let's gonna have a look. Tequila, bleeding to death from deep lacerations all across her body. Okay. Then of course there's uh, Grayson in there in red. So he seems to be the one setting up all of these uh, really strange scenarios. Uh, who else is there? Oh, that's right. There's uh, Orum and Thanos, who died in the incinerator. Thanos is down here. As I said, I'm a murderer. This is not a brag or a boast. I'm not good or clever for it. I'm sinful and gross. I've killed everyone in this mansion. But there is one person who didn't die. Ah, that is you. You didn't die. One man who survived the events of the day here, who woke up in a broken body with a broken mind. They put a mask on his face and the machine forced him to breathe until he was fit to stand. So that must be him there. Something happened to him and uh, he lived when everyone else died. A man who served his time, but time that could never be enough. And then he went to prison uh, for a while. while uh, everyone else died. A man who lived when all the others did not. I would like you to meet that man, Boom. I would like you to meet him and then decide if this day should end. Okay, let's meet him then. The answer will be behind these doors. Come and find me there. She and I will be waiting for you. So that's where we need to use the ruby ring. The day is starting once more. I don't think we really needed that tour, did we? I'm pretty sure I remember what, what happened to all of those people. Anyway, let's go. Is it this one or this one? Yes, yeah, this one. Oops, see Daisy. Oh, let's take a look then. I can't I can't look out this door. He's heading through the uh, the ruby ruby door there. Let's do the same thing. The 
card there as well. Oops. There is someone there. So this is actually the chapel uh, once more. Here we are again. Back in the tutorial area at the very beginning. Oops, there's someone in here, is there? Uh, I may need to start today again. It's already a little bit late. Now I don't need anything else. We don't need to save Reginald Sixpence again. I will just get this clock working though. Let's do that. And uh, respawn here, start the day from the very beginning. There we go. Just so I can get a bit of time in the chapel. So Reginald comes in uh, fairly quickly. Let's just um, just move quickly here. I can actually open the safe myself. Can we have a look and see what's inside? Before Reginald gets here. Anything? Nothing. That's fine. Uh, so there is a ghost over here you can see and there's a candle. I'm going to light this one. There's a chill in the air that wasn't there before. Uh, let's see if he's got anything interesting to say. So we talk at last. It's been a long road for you. All to come back here. Take this and I'll play on. Uh, he's given us the King of Diamonds. Nice. And we can use the special ability here to break open this glass and I'm just going to head straight through. Well found, Boone. Please, come join me. This is Lucas Bonds, the Marquis of the Sexy Brutale. Lucas, my Lucas, I brought us all here to judge this man, or rather to sentence him. His guilt is not in question. Okay, well, let's watch and uh, see what happens to him, see what he does.
He survived that fall. A little bruised, somewhat broken, but he lived. And there you have it, Boone. This man set a fire in his own mansion for nothing more than the insurance. So uh, he timed the bombs wrong, and they went off, and all of the guests were killed. He managed to uh, dive out of the clock tower and was injured, but uh, did escape alive. Whew, okay, what a story. Okay, so we have the choice to save him or to not save him. I guess we're going to save him like we saved all the other guests, and this one is actually quite easy. Uh, we do have to wait, however. Does she have anything to say for herself? Please, he's a good man. There is a way to end this. Look at him. Think of what he did. Alright, so we're going to wait for him to leave. I'm not going down this time because he comes back pretty quickly. Uh, but the second time he leaves, I uh, will uh, head down and we can have a little look at this place. Okay, and down we go. We've got like 12 seconds or something. A violin for practice. Uh, let's just do this. Just going to bind there, and I'm going to restart the day. Now, I don't have long in here either. I'm just going to quickly have a look at a few. This is where the bomb is at the beginning of the day. Could have a quick look at some of the other things here. Come on, come on, move, move. A replica of the sexy brutal, interesting. Then we've got uh, incendiary explosives. Let's pick up the wire cutters and use them on the bomb. And uh, that's the solution. So fairly easy. Wait, this wire is cut. Who? Wait, this isn't right. The timer? I made a mistake. This would have gone off early, my god. Boon. I think we can forgo having the masks chase you. Those masks were a lot scarier than they actually were. You did actually have time to uh, run across the room, even if they were chasing you. Left cardio, what are you doing here? Please, you have to leave. This I can explain, or rather, I don't imagine I need to. I'm so sorry, my old friend. I should have told you, but you can be rather proper, no? I'm going to burn this place down. You know I love this place, it's everything. But I love her more, and imagine the cost, the sheer drain of it. Okay, no need to explain. He tried to time it so that everything would detonate at once, while the guests were outside, safe and sound. Didn't quite work out that way. So, 
yeah, basically the, the, the gold skull character. Looks like he's in agony himself. He's the one who's created this nightmare out of uh, guilt for killing everyone. So he's, uh, he is Lucas there. And he's Lucas. Lucas. And... And we are Lucas as well. An older Lucas. So we're all Lucas. Creating this nightmare out of uh, shame and guilt for killing all of the all of the guests. But it's time to uh, end this nightmare. And uh, there's all the staff. <laughs> all the staff up there. And you can probably guess who they are. Uh, they're all Lucas as well. It was us all along creating this nightmare. It's been more than 40 years, Lucas. You've punished yourself long enough. You almost died when you fell. Then it's been like you stayed alive just to make sure you suffered. You were hospitalized, near dead, you went to prison, but it still wasn't enough. You have suffered and missed every day. We aren't here to forgive you, Lucas. You'll never have that. We are gone and we cannot say the words. You cannot ever know if we would say those words. But as much as you have hated yourself, you have always known one thing. In your heart of hearts, you know that I would not have wanted you to suffer forever. One day, enough would be enough. Today can be that day, Lucas, if you want, if you are ready. Okay, so let's end this madness. Once and for all, there's nothing much more for us to do. There is one other option. Walk away, uh, use the watch. So this is basically uh, a way to uh, let you go back into the mansion to finish off anything that you haven't finished off yet. Uh, find all the collectibles, uh, grab all the invitations if you haven't found them. And uh, there is a second ending. Uh, if you do have all of the collectibles, you can enter another room and um, play, uh, yeah, have a, a second ending, which I won't spoil uh, right now. Um, but I think it's time for now to put an end to this day. So I'm not going to restart this day. Let's end it. Okay, so they're all going to go out and uh, save the day for all of the guests. It would have been a nice ending if you had to uh, save them all yourself. I think that that would have been a really clever if you had to try to run around using the mirrors and uh, save everyone in one day. Uh, that would have been an interesting ending because uh, there's not, lo not really a lot for me to do uh, for the last 20% uh, of this game. There wasn't, uh, there wasn't a lot for me to do, but I, I, I enjoyed the, uh, the first 80% where I was sneaking around and following people, uh, sneaking around and uh, spying on people and trying to figure out how to save them. But uh, anyway, still a really good game. Goodbye, my love. Whatever I am, I am always here. Uh, a rather sad ending, though.
and uh, things got a little bit strange towards the end. But it was uh, still a really well designed game. Love the graphics and the music as well. And uh, that is the end of the sexy brutal. He's finally Lucas has finally come to terms with what he's done, and uh, hopefully he can carry on with the rest of his life and not live that same day over and over again. Uh, that is it for the walkthrough of the sexy brutal. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this playthrough. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon for another game. Nothing.